Hello, hello. Namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining here today. Not prenatal yoga session. And we are going to get started as I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your seat. I am sitting in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and soothe our mind and bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are, ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and long, meaning we are not sunken. We want to have a nice, elongated spine. Relaxing our shoulders downward away from our ears. Gazing our eyes downward at the yoga mat or closing our eyes, if that feels good. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath relaxes and soothes the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, if that feels good for us. As we relax here in silent meditation for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, palms reaches up towards the heavens, shoulders flows up towards the ears, feeling that spine get nice and elongated here. Bringing our palms together, interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Allowing our arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room. This is a slight back bend. We're gonna hold this pose, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating our palms. We are now in our seated extended mountain with our palms separated. Slightly twisting our bodies towards the right, a small twist. Bringing our palms downward towards the earth as we slightly gaze over our right shoulder. We are in our seated twist. This seated twist relaxes and soothes the spine. Ensuring that if we are in our bigger months in pregnancy, we don't over twist the body. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, we're going to flow into that star. Palms are out towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up, feeling that stretch. Gaze in our eyes closed, gaze in our eyes down. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Twist the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth. Slightly gazing over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist, ensuring we are not twisting too hard. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, flowing into that star. Palms are out towards the side, feeling that stretch. Breathing to our salute, palms are together above our head. Exhaling down to prayer, relaxing those palms at heart center. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. A lot of times we sit in tension. We sit with our shoulders shrugged. So just reminding our bodies to relax those shoulders down helps us soothe and relax the upper parts of our bodies. Two more breaths. Flowing our palms downward towards the earth, we are connecting our palms to the earth, to our environment, tuning in to our surroundings. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us without judgment, simply being aware. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our session here today. Three more breaths. Two breaths. 
as we flow our legs in front of us, coming into a staff pose, legs are parallel side by side. If we have a belly, we're gonna widen our legs, creating that, that nice space. So coming into a staff pose, if that feels good, or bringing those legs slightly apart to create that space. And we're sitting here in our staff with our spinal cords elongated. We're just gonna take a moment to see how this feels in our bodies. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Keeping in mind to not slouch because when we slouch our bodies, we decrease the space in the tummies for baby. So always keeping that spinal cord nice and long and you will feel a little more ease in the belly. And if it's in your practice, if this tummy's not too big, we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips, slightly lean into torso forward towards the thighs, feeling that stretch. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, you'll feel it behind your legs and your hamstrings and in your inner thighs. The hip flexors. Allowing that torso to melt downward towards your legs. Allowing that head to relax down towards your knees. Completely relaxing your body. This is a full body stretch. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold or coming back up to that staff pose, straightening that body. Just taking a moment to notice how we feel as we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into that salute, feeling that stretch. Exhale to prayer, relaxing the palms at heart center. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Two breaths. As we flow our legs into our diamond or our butterfly, bounding our feet together, we are in our bound position. This bound position is a nice pose to give extra space for baby if we have big bellies. It's also a hip opener. It's a labor prep, it's a labor prep pose. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. So doing what feels best for you and your body. We're gonna connect our hands to our feet and if we choose, we can slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing that when we hinge, we'll feel it more in our hip flexors. So only hinging if it feels good for you and your body. Allowing that torso to relax forward, allowing the head to relax down to the feet. Four breaths. Shoulder blades are melting forward. Eyes are closed to gaze. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up, we are in our diamond or our butterfly. Heart chakras open, chin is up as we flow into our bound cow. Allowing that head to relax between our shoulder blades. We'll feel this in our lumbar spine. We are in our cow pose. We're gonna hang out here, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into our cat, bringing our chin towards our clavicle, spinal cord goes slightly out towards the back. We don't want to tuck too hard, being mindful of baby and tummy. Three breaths. Exhale back to that bound position, either our diamond or our butterfly. Taking our hands to bring our knees inward, crossing our feet at our ankles as we flow into a tabletop pose. Coming onto our hands and our knees, our knees are hip distance apart. Ensuring that our palms are nice and flat on the earth. Dropping our bodies down to our cow. Tummies come downward towards the earth. Chin is slightly up. You'll feel this cow pose in the lumbar back. So if you ever have, if you ever have any back pains, baby's too heavy, you want to relieve some tension in your lower spine, a cow pose is a beautiful pose to help ease or soothe lower back pain. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into our cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. Three breaths. Exhaling back to our table. Gazing forward, just simply checking in with the body to make sure everything feels well within. If all feels well, we're gonna 
come into a sunbird pose, taking our right leg towards the back. We are gaze forward. And we are, we are building strength and we are balancing our minds and our bodies here. And if we're able, we can extend that left arm towards the front, coming into that full sunbird. And this is just an option if we're able. We are strengthening and balancing here. We're gonna hold this pose, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to table, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we extend that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch, palms are flat on the earth as we are gazed forward. If all feels well, we can extend that right arm. Balancing and strengthening on the opposite sides. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to table. Knees are, knees are hip distance, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Lower back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Noticing how this feels here in our hip flexors. Three more breaths. Finding our pause, shifting our weight forward if we're able, coming into a high plank, dropping down to our knees if we must in our high plank. We're gonna hold this, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling down to our knees, we're gonna come into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Allowing our torso to relax between our thighs, arms are extended in front of us, so we are in the extended child's pose or puppy pose. Our shoulder blades melt forward into the yoga mat. Our third eye chakra, our forehead, connects to the yoga mat. As we relax and soothe here for seven natural breaths. Mm. Allowing the mind and body to soothe and relax here in this pose. Using this time to check in with self. Seeing how we feel within. Five more breaths. Three more breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose. Spinal wave in the body, feeling the hips rotate and flex here. Feeling that wave within the number, the thoracic spine here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. We are soothing and relaxing the spine here in this wave. As we find our pause at center, coming back to our table, knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth, dropping down to that cow. Exhale to cat. Lowering back to our table as we push our bodies back up to our down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by cuddling our feet if we choose. Finding pause as we walk our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold. Maybe we are wide-legged to create that stance, to create that space for baby. This forward fold is a full body stretch, allowing that head to relax downward towards the feet. Flowing into a half forward fold if you feel dizzy. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Feeling that body relax and soothe. Four breaths. Two more breaths.
Exhale and up to half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Backs are straight. Three breaths. Two breaths. If our legs are together, we're gonna yogi walk our feet apart, creating that stance. We're gonna come back down to a complete forward fold. <sighs> This time we're going to flow into a rag dial, connecting our hands to our elbows, noticing how this feels in our bodies. And if we choose in our rag dial, we can rock, sway our body from side to side, noticing how that feels behind your legs and your hamstrings. You may feel that stretch and that lengthening within the lower parts of the body. We're going to hang out here in this rag dial for five more breaths. Flowing into a half forward fold if this rag dial makes you feel dizzy. Three breaths. Finding pause at center, come into that half forward fold. Slightly gazing forward, backs are straight. Two more breaths. As we point our toes to the outsides of our yoga mat, just twisting those feet outward, we're gonna come up to our goddess stance. Bending our knees and our cactus hands. Yes, hanging out here in this goddess. This is also a labor prep pose. We are building strength to the pelvic floor as well as the lower parts of our bodies. You'll feel the lumbar parts, I'm sorry, the lower parts of your body is getting nice and strong here. Coming out whenever you need. If you're able, we can pulse it up and down. Building strength, working that pelvic floor, if you're able. Or we can rock it from side to side. Noticing how this feels in your body. Two more breaths. Finding pause, standing up in that standing star, straightening those legs, palms are out towards the side. We are in our standing star. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Feeling nice and strong here in our star. Lightly gazing our eyes downward or closing our eyes, just filling the pose, filling the moment. Feeling strong and powerful here. Three more breaths. Breathing our palms above our heads in that salute. Chin is up. Exhale the prayer, relaxing the palms at heart center. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Two breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Two more breaths. Flowing back down to our goddess. Come into time. Cactus hands. Goddess stance. Cactus hands. Bending those knees. This here is a labor prep pose. We can pulse the body up and down if we choose. We can rock the body from side to side, or we can stay still. Optioning to breathe our palms above our heads here in this salute. Goddess salute, yes, knees are still bent. Exhale down to prayer, palms at heart center. Two more breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, wide-legged, connecting our hands to our ankles, head melts downward towards the earth, gaze into the back of the room. This complete forward fold is a counter pose to what we just did. Allowing this pose to relax and soothe your legs, your knees, your mind, and your body. If you get dizzy in your complete forward fold, low into a half, forward fold. Listening to your body, my voice is just a guide. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhale into a half forward fold. Exhale and back up to that goddess stance, bending those knees, coming into that cactus head. Labor prep, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale to that star, straightening those legs. Palms comes out towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. 
feeling strong and powerful, standing nice and tall and bright, just like a star. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back down to goddess, bending those knees, coming into those cactus hands. Four breaths. Two breaths. Pulsing the body up and down. Three breaths. Rocking the body from side to side. Three breaths. Feeling those legs burn, coming out whenever you need. Finding pause at center. Exhale, complete forward fold. Touching the hands to the ankles, head melts down. Gaze into the back of the room. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Walking our hands forward, bringing our feet together, coming into that down dog. Gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet, our legs. As we drop down to our knees, coming into a wide legged child's pose or puppy pose. Taking a moment to relax and soothe our minds and our bodies. Torso relaxes between the thighs, heart chakra connects to the earth. Our third eye chakra, our forehead, connects to the earth. As we gaze our eyes down, we're to close our eyes. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Shoulder blades melt forward. Going inward. Six breaths. Two Three more breaths. With our arms extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose, puppy pose, feeling a waveature in your spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pose at center, bringing our knees hip distance apart. We are in our table, dropping down to cow. Chin is up, feeling this in our lumbar spine. <sighs> Exhaling to cat, chin comes to the clavicle, spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. Exhaling back to table, pushing our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. As we breathe our right foot to our right hand, we are in that runner's lunge. Maybe our body slightly off to the side if we have a big belly. Noticing how this lunge feels as we straighten that front leg, coming into that pyramid, feeling that stretch behind the leg here in the hamstring. Head melts downward towards the knee. This here is a lengthening and a stretching pose. Taking nice, subtle breaths here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, run his lunge, bending that front knee, coming out of that pyramid, back to run his lunge. Yes, feeling that stretch. We're gonna bring our right hand inside of our leg. Both palms are flat on the earth. Yes. We're gonna twist our bodies towards the right. Right arm goes up in the air, feeling that stretch. We are in our revolved twist. Gazing up at the fingers or gazing down, whatever feels good for you. Feeling this stretch in the body. Feeling the movements in the hips, the thighs, the legs. Two more breaths. Exhaling palms back down to the earth. <sighs> Runners lunge as we twist the body towards the left. Left arm goes up in the air, feeling that stretch. Gazing up at those left fingertips, if that feels good. Nice, subtle breaths here. Soothing and relaxing. Two more breaths. 
exhale, hella palms back downward towards the earth. We are in that runner's lunge, breathing back to our down dog. Feet comes to feet, gazing at the feet, pedaling our legs, walking our dog if that feels good. Finding our pause as we bring our left foot to our left hand. We are in that runner's lunge opposite side. Tilting our body off to the side. If we have a big belly, be mindful of baby and tummy. As we strengthen that front leg, coming into that pyramid, allowing that torso, the head to relax downward towards the knee. Feel that stretch behind your leg and your hamstring. Lengthening and stretching the body here. Soothing and relaxing. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to run this lunge, bend in that front knee. As we bring this left hand inside of our thigh, we're gonna twist our bodies towards the left. Left arm goes up towards the heavens. We are in that revolved twist. Feeling the body soothe, relax, stretch. We are moving here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back down, both palms flat on the earth. Twisting our bodies towards the right. Right arm flows up in the air, feeling that stretch. Mm. Take a nice subtle breath here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back down, both palms are on the earth. As we flow to our down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our feet to our hands, complete forward fold. Maybe we are wide legged, creating that stance, creating that space for baby. Head melts downward towards the earth, feeling that stretch. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward. Coming up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, palms are at our side. <sighs> Legs are parallel side by side. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute, feeling that stretch. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Interlacing our fingers together, pointer finger points up towards the heavens as our arms flow slightly towards the back of the room. This is a slight back bend, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, separating those palms. We are in our standing extended mountain, meaning our palms are separated. We are in our standing salute when our palms are together. So separating our palms, coming into that standing extended mountain, two breaths. Exhale, leaning the body towards the right. We are in our standing side bend. Slightly gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. As we lean to the opposite side, feeling that side bend. Gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, breathing the palms together in that standing salute. Exhale into prayer, relaxing the palms at heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Slightly gazing down at the earth or closing the eyes if you're able. Using this time to thank ourselves for practicing self-care here today. Using this time to go inward to see how we feel right here, right now. 
without judgment, simply being aware, simply taking notice. And if we choose, we can place our palms on our bellies and simply show the baby within a little self-care. We'll place our palms on our bellies if we're not pregnant and show ourselves a little care. Or we can keep our palms at heart center, whatever feels best for you as we stand, as we manifest with our feet rooted to the earth, our heart chakra, our head is within the universe. May we manifest, may we go inward, focusing on self, focusing on baby within, for natural birth. Breathe in, exhale. Feeling the mind and body soothe and relax. Eyes are gaze down and closed. Shoulders are relaxed down. For our feet are rooted and planted. And may we always be mindful of being rooted and planted, no matter where we are in life. May we always be humble. May we always be rooted and planted. No matter how far we go in life, no matter how successful we become, how much we gain, may we always be humble, knowing our roots. Two more breaths. Exhale to Tadasana, the palms are at our side, standing nice and strong and firm. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Eyes gaze down. Feeling the power within. Feeling the mind balance. Feeling the body soothe and relax. Two more breaths. As we flow our palms above our heads in that salute, palms together, standing strong and firm here in our salute. Chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale, prayer, standing prayer. Palms at heart center, shoulders relaxed down. Slightly hinging at the hips, keeping our palms at heart center. Backs are straight, slightly gazing forward. Building this behind our legs and our hamstrings as we balance, as we soothe. Bending our knees, coming into that chair pose, maybe creating that stance if you need, widening the legs, creating space for the baby. As we extend those arms in front of us, we are in our extended chair. Heart chakras open, chin is up, four breaths. This chair pose also prepares the pelvic floor for labor. It strengthens the lower parts of the body as well. Two more breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles, head melts down. <sighs> Feeling this stretch within your lower spine. Feeling this stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. Flowing into a rag doll if that feels good for you. Connecting your hands to your elbow. <sighs> Swaying the body, rocking the body from side to side if that feels good. Noticing how it feels behind your legs. Four more breaths. Flowing into a half forward fold if that feels best for you. Two breaths. Finding our pause, walking our hands forward, feet comes together, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet, left and right. As we breathe that right foot to that right hand, we are in that runner's lunge. <sighs> Noticing how we feel, if all feels well, we're gonna flow up to a warrior two, straightening up that body. Hands come to the front, hands come to the back, building strength, lower parts of our bodies, warrior two. Feeling the body stretch, strength, relax. Palms can be down, 
Palms can be up. Whatever feels good for you. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, reverse warrior, feeling that stretch. Right hand flows over the head. Two more breaths. Exhale to side angle, right hand crosses over that right thigh. Or extended side angle, left hand goes above the head or up in the air. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to warrior two. Hands to the front, hands to the back. As we breathe to warrior one, twisting that body forward, palms are up in the air. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to warrior two. Twisting the body forward. Coming into that pyramid, straightening that front leg, feeling that stretch. This is a soothing and counter pose to what we just did. Noticing how this relaxes and soothes that front leg, that knee. Head melts downward towards the thighs. Taking nice, subtle breaths here. Allowing those shoulders to melt forward. Feeling that body relax. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Low into down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our legs, walking our feet left and right. Finding pause as we breathe our left foot to left hand. Runner's lunge, feeling that stretch. If all feels well, we're gonna to flow to a warrior two, lifting that body away from the thighs, arms come to the front, arms come to the back. Palms can be down, palms can be up. We are building strength in the lower parts of our bodies as well as balancing. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, reverse warrior, hands flow over the head. Still in that stretch. Two more breaths. Um, exhale to side angle. Left arm crosses over that left side or extended side angle. Right arm goes up in the air or over that head. <sighs> Two more breaths. Flowing back to a warrior two, palms to the front, palms to the back. Two more breaths. Breathe to warrior one, twisting that body forward. Both arms are up in the air, chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhale back, warrior two, feeling the movements here. Twisting the body forward, we're gonna come into that pyramid. Straightening out that left leg here, noticing how this soothes and relaxes what we just did. This is a counter pose as our torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down, taking nice subtle breaths here. Relaxing and soothing, going inward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to run his lunge, bending that front knee. Lower back down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking the dog by pedaling our feet if we choose. Dropping down to our knees, we're gonna flow into a wide legged child's pose or puppy pose. Using this pose to relax and soothe as our heart chakra connects to the earth. Third eye chakra connects to the earth. 
gaze in the eyes down or close in the eye. As we go inward, focusing on self, six breaths. Three more breaths. With the palms flat on the earth, we're going to spine away our bodies out of this pose, using our palms to push our torsos forward, filling it in our hips as we push our buttocks towards our heels. Feeling that hip move. Feeling the body just wave in here at the lumbar spine. Feeling that wave, three breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our paws at center, come into our table, knees or hip distance apart, palms are flat on the earth, drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Lowering back the table, crossing our knees at our ankles. We're gonna come into a seated pose, just for a second. We're gonna float onto our backs, coming into a recline position. If we are in our bigger months, maybe we can put a pillow, a bolster underneath our hips, slightly elevating our pelvic floor. Our pelvic floor. <sighs> As we bring our knees towards our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. If we have big bellies, we're gonna bring our knees, our legs outward towards the sides of our belly. Kind of like we're going into a happy baby. We have the pillow underneath our buttocks. Creating a soft pelvic tilt. We can flow into a happy baby if we choose, bringing our hands inside of our feet. Our feet comes up towards the heavens, connecting our hands to our feet. We are now in that happy baby. We can rock our body from side to side if we're able, or we can stay still. We can flow into a shoulder press by bringing our leg over our shoulder. We can flow into a pretzel if we're able. Or we can simply just freestyle here in our happy baby. Six natural breaths. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling our legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles, feeling that stretch. Feet are up towards the heavens as we point our toes upwards towards the ceiling, feeling that plantar flex, kind of like a ballerina's foot, pointing those toes upwards, feeling that stretch. As we come into a wide legged recline position, allowing our legs to flow towards the side, opening up our hip flexors. This is a nice labor prep pose. Feeling that stretch here in our inner thighs. We are in our reclined, wide-legged split here. Or wide-legged stretch, shall I say. Three more breaths. Breathing our legs together, using our hands to bring our legs back together. Legs on the wall. Hugging our knees into our chest or coming into that wide-legged knees to chest with our legs to the sides of our bellies. Using this time to simply show ourselves a little self-love and gratitude. Three more breaths. Bringing our knees, bringing our legs together as we come into a reclined spinal twist. If we're able, allowing our knees to flow towards the left, 
Heel and head spinal twist. Right arm comes out to the side like a T. As we gaze over that right shoulder or gaze up at the heavens, recline spinal twist. Soothing and relaxing the spine. And in this twist, if we're able, we can also extend our hand to toe. Connecting that hand to toe, feeling that stretch a little deeper. Whatever we choose, five more breaths. Three breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Flowing back to center, hugging the knees into the chest or coming into a wide legged knees to chest. As we breathe our knees towards the right, recline spinal twist, opposite side, feeling that spine soothe and relax as our left arm goes out to the side like a T. We can gaze over that left shoulder or gaze up at the heavens, whatever feels good for you. Keeping in mind that we can do that extended hand to toe if we choose. As we relax and soothe here, Five more breaths. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, bringing the knees into the chest, hugging the knees into the chest, being wide-legged if we have a big belly, three breaths, exhale to legs on the wall pose, legs up in the air, breathing our knees into our chest with our feet flowing flat to the earth, so our feet is on the earth, our knees are in the air. We're going to work on a bridge pose just for a second with our palms flat on the earth. We can remove that pillow from underneath our hips if we choose. We're going to use our feet and our palms to lift our pelvic floor, our pelvic bone off the earth. We are in that bridge. So our tummies, our pelvic bone tilts forward. We can walk our hands underneath our buttocks if we choose, bringing our hands together and walking our shoulders towards our spine. Noticing how our torso comes higher in the air, our chest comes higher in the air, and then we are in that deep bridge. And you'll feel this in your thighs, as well as your gluteus maximus, and your lumbar spine. And we can cross the hips up, the pelvic bone up if we choose. Noticing how that squeezes and lifts the gluteus maximus. So maybe we can pulse it or we can stay still. Whatever you choose, eight natural breaths. Six breaths. If we are pulsing it, we're gonna squeeze it up nice and tight and hold it here. Squeeze, squeeze, feeling that burn. Four more breaths. Coming out whenever you need to. Two more breaths, pulsing it up and down. Feeling that burn. Pulse it up, squeeze it nice and tight. Gluteus maximus lifting up here. Two more breaths, bonus breaths. Exhale, uninterlacing those fingers, untucking those shoulders, breathing the knees to chest. Or coming into a wide-legged knees to chest as we are hugging our knees into our chest. This is a counter pose to what we just did. Shoulder blades melts back into the earth. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. 
bringing our feet flat to the earth, knees are in the air. Getting our pillow again, placing it between our legs, our knees. We're gonna roll onto our thighs, coming into a fetal pose. Relaxing and soothing the body here. Gazing the eyes down or closing the eyes. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Here in our fetal pose, may we place our palm on our tummy if we choose. Using this time to show the baby a little love and attention as we close our eyes and go inwards and relax and soothe and regulate our heartbeat. Eight natural breaths. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, rotating our ankles, moving our buttocks at our hips, as we are awakening our bodies. Placing our top hand palm flat on the earth, as we use that to push our bodies up, coming into a seated pose. I'm gonna flow into a cow face legs. May you find any seat that feels good for you. We can also stay in our recline position if that feels good. If we are sitting, ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and long, remembering to not funk our bodies down. Always keeping that spine nice and elongated creates space in the belly for baby. Shoulders relax down, away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Noticing what the breath does to the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Shoulders relax down. Eyes are gazed down and closed. Four breaths of silence. Breathe in, exhale. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice prenatal yoga with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste.